Hello, Nemeric here, and today we'll be talking about real firearms instead of Nerf guns, and, uh, well, five of John Moses Browning's best firearm designs. But before we get into what he made, who was the legendary John Moses Browning? Well, he's a native of Utah and was born in 1855 to a father who was a gunsmith. He himself made his first firearm when he was just 13, and since 1878, his designs and work have been the forefront of firearm technology. Sadly, he passed in 1926 at the age of 71, leaving behind a wife, 10 children, and a legacy that will forever cement the Browning name into history. At number 5, the Winchester 1894. The final form of classic Winchester lever-action repeating rifles, a perfected classic that will still in production today. Favoured among cowboy action shooters and hunters alike, so much so, there is one in my safe. Chambered in cartridges galore and probably the most renowned lever gun in existence. At number 4, the Browning Otto 5. A personal favourite of mine, and my uncle had one, and so did Bonnie and Clyde. Browning designed this all the way in 1898, but he didn't produce it in 1905. This is the first mass-produced semi-automatic shotgun on the market, and it's probably the most influential. A legendary design imitated by many, even a hundred years later. It's like perfection in your hands. An art piece that'll blow a chunk off of you. Number 3, the M2. Fun fact, Browning invented the 50 BMG round just for this gun. What do you think BMG stands for? It stands for Browning Machine Gun. The lovely Ma Deuce first saw action in World War II after being enacted into the US Army in 1933, where it cemented its place as the coolest piece of heavy duty ordnance on the battlefield. The MG42 may saw through you, <laughs> the M2, with its 50 caliber power, will blow your torso clean off your waist. Its power was truly showcased when its most decorated soldier in America, Audie Murphy, held off hordes of Germans with an M2 atop of a burning tank. Number 2. The Browning High Power. This is Browning's last design, as he died in the middle of making it. It was finished by the Belgians and was named the Browning High Power after production was moved to Canada. The High Power is much like the 1911, except it has much better capacity at, at you know, 10 instead of 7, and it's in 9mm. This pistol saw use in World War II, in Vietnam by MACV troops, and basically every proxy war since. It is the defining Cold War era pistol, as about as Cold War as its FNFAL buddy. It's also still in production, because FN Herstal simply cannot replace a classic. Uh, a couple honorable mentions would be the 1897. Browning designed the first pump action shotgun in 1893, and the 1897 is the improvement. It's also been issued to the trenches of Europe, who is such an effective trench sweeper that the Germans tried to get it banned from war. Another honorable mention would be the M1908 Hammerless, a 24 ounce pocket pistol chambered in 380 with a 7 round magazine. Loved by both the police and the boss of Chicago, Al Capone. Its influence in 380 pocket pistols is still seen today, like the Ruger LCP. And another honorable mention would be BAR, Browning Automatic Rifle. Here's a joke, three Germans walked into a bar, and that's it. There's nothing left of them because there's 20 rounds of 30-06 and was designed for use in World War One, but simply came to late. Ruled the Prohibition era and was also issued as a cult monitor to police, but it was also used by Bunny and Clyde who had a cut-down barrel version. Also issued in World War II and Korea before it was eventually replaced by the M60 because it, well, even in World War II, it was rather outdated. And the final honorable mention would be the M1919. Belt fed 30 alt 6. What a dream. An improvement on his own water cooled M1917 design, the M1919 was an air cooled machine gun that saw use in more conflicts than the M16. Oh, did I mention they're making 22 long rifle? Produced up to 1945, and even then it's still in use today by drug cartels across the desert. And of course, at the number one spot, you saw this coming. You already knew it was here, you just watched the video to see the other ones on the list, not this one. You already know, the semi-automatic, single-action, 45 ACP chambered pistol with a 7-round magazine was at the top of the list. Probably because it's the most influential firearm design ever crafted. So amazing and ahead of its time, it still finds use in militaries today. The design that every other pistol follows. 
the single greatest and most American firearm known to the world. It's also the official firearm of the state of Utah, and there hasn't been a war since 1911 that hasn't had this pistol in it. It's in every FPS shooter, every film, every war, and it's at every single gun show. After more than 100 years, it's still at the top of handguns. It's the Colt M1911. And you already know, everyone loves it because it's the greatest pistol ever. And that concludes a list of John Moses Browning's best firearm designs. And you are probably already knew quite a few of them because John Moses Browning is synonymous with the awesomest of guns ever created. Truly, a list of top tier weapons that have found themselves into the hearts and minds for the past century. This has been Numeric Studios, and I will see you in the next video. Remember to subscribe, and maybe like and comment your ideas down below for future videos, and please enjoy.